Aaron Chen here, hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be doing some research on Ecom Hacks Academy by Jared Getz. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review uh, Ecom Hacks Academy and then you can decide for yourself whether you want to invest in this program or you might decide that, you know, um, it might not be for you and you may want to try something else completely up to you all right so this is the website of ecom hacks very nice very clean very simple right um and the, the thing that i like about uh, ecom hacks is that you know it's a it's not just a product but it's a community um and there's support and you know there's there's all that good stuff there right so um there are actually four main modules you know you can see here um, a, a video of the mastermind that they hosted um you know what you're going to get uh, and basically the flagship core structures, basically four modules, which we're gonna dive into a little bit, okay? Um, and then you've got three different levels here, base, elite, platinum, okay? Um, and mainly it's it's the, the extra stuff is about, um, you know, you get additional stores built for you. Um, some have weekly calls, the other ones don't. And then the other ones is, you know, um, if you go platinum, you have one-on-one -on -one with uh, deep dive with Jared and also quarterly in-person live masterminds, right? So these are the, the difference between the, the, the three levels. It's more about that support and that uh, and that hands-on approach, okay? Which, which, is, which is great. And then some reviews here and stuff like that. So let me dive into the actual product um, so that you can you know understand exactly what this is about, okay? So I've broken it down for you here. You can see it on my screen, right? So Ecom Hacks Academy, what is it exactly? So let me explain how it works, right? So Jared actually teaches you how to drop ship, all right? Now drop shipping, if you don't know what that is, all it is is you basically build what's called a Shopify store, right, um, on the internet. And on the Shopify store, you can basically sell physical products. So for example, and this is, you know, for lack of a better example, if I wanted to sell this pen, this um, this is a pilot uh, blue pen, right, 2.3, medium grip, whatever, you could sell a pen like this on your Shopify store. Now how it works is you would create a Shopify store, you would literally have to set everything up and it can be quite technical, all right? Which is what e-commerce hacks is basically gonna teach you how to you know, do, right? Um, and then you would source the, these pens, okay? You would put it onto your website and then you would drive ads to your, to your page and you would charge someone a little bit more money than you got it for and when they buy it from your website, you actually have to get your supplier to deliver it directly to your customer who might be living you know, in different parts of the world and you make the spread, you make the margin on how much you paid for your pen versus how much you sold it for. Does that make sense? So if I bought this pen for let's just say $1 for my supplier and I sell it on my website for $3, then I make $2 profit. Does that make sense? Or $2 revenue, it's not really profit because there's ongoing costs that you have to you know, put into the business and I'll talk about that in a second. But that is the basics of how dropshipping works, okay? It's, it's selling physical goods. So whether it's selling you know, a, a pen or maybe you know, the five minute journal or maybe you know, a Samsung Galaxy earbud or maybe you know particular type of glasses or whatever it is it, you could literally be selling anything but it's, it's mainly physical products you drive paid ads to your website uh, and you make money based on the margins that you have based on how much you paid for it and how much you're selling it for that's all drop shipping is okay now with ecom hacks what they focus on is something that jared calls drop surfing which basically means that instead of finding old products, you leverage on trends that are happening today. So, you know, for example, remember how, you know, those fidget spinners were really popular back in the day, right, a few years ago? Well, basically what he teaches you how to do is to find trending products and then get on top of it and sort of ride the wave while everybody is kind of making those sales, which is quite smart to be honest, right? So let's break down uh, Ecom Hacks Academy and, and I'll, I'll show you uh, what all the modules are, right? So let's go into module number one. And module number one is really about the overall structure of, of Shopify, how it works, um, you know, drop surfing, how drop surfing works, how you get onto trends and stuff like that. He talks about the 30,000 foot view and then he talks about setting up your Shopify store, which is all good, very good for beginners. Um, this is what you really need to learn anyway, right? Now in module two, he uh, breaks it down even more. So he talks about conversion metrics, you know, what, what are the profit margins? Um, how do you actually make sales? How do you make money inside of drop, you know, drop shipping as a business model? And then he dives more into themes of your Shopify store. And he really takes you through the, you know, the basic Shopify store, store setup, okay? How do you actually get your, your um, Shopify store onto the internet? How do you, you know, how do you set it up? How do you set up the themes? Um, how do you, you know, set all the little buttons and widgets and all that stuff up, okay? And, which is what, essentially what you need. The only thing I would say about Shopify is that Shopify is a very complex software, unfortunately, right? So even though Jared does show you how to set it up, 
um, just understand that you know it is if you're technically not so savvy it's gonna take you a lot longer to set up because Shopify as a program is just a bit of a pain to deal with to be honest right I've, I've dealt with it myself um, it's it's quite it's quite tricky okay so but you can get through it if, if you have the right training right so module number three he starts to talk about well you know now we, we want to actually pick your products right and so you know, his whole idea in, in Ecom Hacks Academy, and that's why he calls it hacks, is because you're kind of hacking the dropshipping slash e-commerce world. And so instead of just buying or selling any random product like a blue pen, he's, he teaches you all about how to jump on trends, right? What's hot right now? What's selling? How do you source those products? And, and he's got a, even an internal product tool where you can sort of link up to it and find some of the hottest products that you can sell. And then, you know, he also connects you with some of the suppliers um, so that you don't have to, you know, be out there looking for your own supplies, which can be a pain in the butt when it comes to drop shipping and e-commerce, to be honest. So that, that's a good thing, right? Now, module number four is, okay, so once you've set up your store, uh, you know the strategy, you've, you've, you've picked your products and stuff like that, how do you actually get people to find your products? So module number four is a very, very big module, which is great, right? And it's all about advertising and driving ads and leads to your Shopify store so people can see your stuff, okay? Now, he focuses very heavily on Facebook. He doesn't teach anything else. He doesn't teach Google ads. He doesn't teach you Bing ads. He, he just focuses on Facebook, but it's pretty in-depth, okay? Which is what you need, otherwise you can't use the strategy, right? But just also understand that, um, you know, Facebook is not cheap, okay? Um, driving ads to your, um, driving ads to your, your business requires you to have an ad budget, right? So if you have no money for an ad budget, you basically can't run this strategy at all, right? Dropshipping is an ads game. You must drive paid ads. You can't do it via free methods. It just doesn't work that way, all right? If you wanna be in profit, if you wanna do it the right way, dropshipping, you must pay for ads, right? So if you don't have an additional five or $500,000 a month at least, I would say, you can't really make the strategy work, okay? So just understand that. Uh, but he, he, do, he does take you through that. Okay, so as a whole, it's a pretty decent pro program. Okay, so let me go through the pros and the cons, like what I liked about Ecom Hacks Academy and what I don't really like about the program and the mod the business model as a whole, right? Just so that you have the full, you know, you have the full transparency. So let me just close these up here so it's a little bit clearer, and then we'll go through the pros and cons. Okay, so the pros of the program. All right, so um, Jared's done a pretty good job. You know, he's extremely successful. Um, you know, he he does. You know, tens of millions of dollars a year. So you're learning from someone who is already, um, you know, a master at this craft, right? So if you're t talking about drop shipping, drop surfing, as he calls it, you're learning from from the master. He knows what he's doing, right? So that's a great thing. Uh, another thing that I like about uh, Ecom Hacks Academy is not it's not some dinky little program. It's actually like a community. There is proper support. Um, you know, at the higher levels, you can even get Jared's help one on one, which is which is super cool, right? And that's what most programs should be because if you're going to be investing good money into a program, if you don't have a community or the support. Uh, structure there, then it's a pretty crappy product, right? And there are a lot of other really not so good drop sh shipping products out there. So, you know, the pros are is that it's a pretty decent uh, drop shipping program, okay? Now, here are some of the cons, right? So let me let me open the cons up, okay? So there's, there's quite a few, and this, this is, you know, this is me personally in my opinion, okay? So first of all, um, it is fairly detailed, but there are some parts that Jared isn't that detailed, and I think you could go into more detail in terms of explaining so, sort of the, the trend strategy, and you know, if you can't leverage trends, how do you really pick products? So the research phase isn't that in depth, and that is very, very important when it comes to drop shipping. Otherwise, you're not gonna know how to find the right products, okay? So that's a, a Part that's a little bit lacking there. The other thing is that it's not a cheap program, okay? It's almost $2,000, it's $1,999. Um, and while there are other pro drop shipping programs out there that are twice the price of that, I personally invested in a $4,000 drop shipping program, $2,000 is still not cheap, okay? So it depends on who you are. If you have an extra $2,000 to drop and invest on a, you know, no pun intended, a drop shipping, you know, program, then sure, you know, it, it's, it's okay. But just understand that it's not a cheap program, so it's not gonna be for everybody, right? The other problem that I have with, with this program, or con I should say, a disadvantage, is that Jared only focuses on one ad strategy. That's a problem, okay? Because with Facebook, if you're unlucky and you can't you know, figure it out, or you, know, you get your ad account shut down, because Facebook loves to do that, right? If you make a mistake inadvertently, like you don't do it on purpose, Facebook loves to shut people's accounts down. It's just the way it is, okay? So he doesn't teach you Bing ads, he doesn't teach you Google ads, shopping ads, he doesn't cover anything like that. So you're only focused on one ad strategy, which is 
a, a, it's a marketer's nightmare. You never ever want to build a business like that. You must diversify because imagine this, if you build everything on Facebook and something happens to your Facebook account, like you know it, it does all the time with a lot of marketers, you lose your entire revenue stream. And then what happens? Your entire business just tumbles to the ground, which is very, very dangerous, okay? So that's the only thing I would say. Another thing that I would say is not so much about the program. The program as a whole, if you can look past the price tag, if you can look past Facebook, you know, him only teaching you Facebook ads. And you know, he does, you know, it's a fairly decent program. It's just a, a couple of areas could have you know additional details but overall it's a it's a very decent drop shipping program okay now some of the cons that I'm going to talk about next is not really about a Jared program it's more about the drop shipping drop surfing business model okay now I can only tell you this because I've actually done drop shipping before so I'm I, I, I've done affiliate marketing which is a different thing um, very successfully um, for the last you know I've been in affiliate marketing for the last 11 years but really successful in it for the last three years and I wanted to try drop shipping so I invested in a drop shipping program, $4,000 program, right? Um, which is actually a lot more detailed than Jared's program. And um, these were the cons that I found with the business model as a whole. It's not so much about Jared, okay? So this is something that you wanna consider because if you're thinking about going to drop shipping, you need to know these things, all right? So first of all, drop shipping, drop surfing has very low profit margins, okay? Now, let me explain to you how this works, right? If I wanted to sell this blue pen, Okay, I buy it from my supplier at a low cost. So let's just say a buck, right? Now I can only sell it for a maximum of a certain amount of money. I can't charge $10 for this pen because nobody's gonna buy it for 10 bucks. Does that make sense? So even, even if I decide to sell, for example, this microphone right here, right? The um, This is the Audio-Technica um, 802020, right? I bought this for, I think $100, okay? So if I was to sell it on my Shopify store, I could only sell it for maybe 120, maybe $150 max. You can't charge $200 for this for this microphone because everybody else can go to another website and just buy it. Does that make sense, right? So you can't charge, you know, triple, quadruple the price. Otherwise, people are just going to go off your shop and they'll go somewhere else to find it. So it's a little bit of a price wall, right? It is price sensitive. So that means that the profit margins on your product is very, very low. Does that make sense, right? That also means that in order for you to hit your income goals, you need to sell a lot of that product, all right? And that is how this game works. So drop shipping is all about sell selling a lot of products at low profit margins, and you have to sell a lot of them, okay, in order for you to make $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 a month. Does that make sense? You literally have to sell hundreds and hundreds of units per day in order for you to hit more than $10,000 of profit in your personal income. That is just ridiculous if you think about it because you have to deal with all those transactions, right? So the other thing is that it is very complex, right? In terms of the Shopify setup and all that, it, it's, it's, um, it's very technical. So if you can get past that, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a disadvantage, right? You need a budget for running ads. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have an additional $500 to $1,000 minimum per month to spend on ads, you can't play the dropshipping game. It's very difficult because you have to test and tweak, right? You know, just because you drop $500 on Facebook ads in a month doesn't mean that you're gonna make profit. You have to test what works and what doesn't. And that's gonna take you a little bit of time to get good at that, right? And that's just the name of the game, but just understand that you need a budget set aside to run dropshipping campaigns, okay? Again, what I was mentioning earlier, there are too many transactions to generate your, your high income. So if you wanted to make $10,000, for example, right? Literally, you would have to sell over 100 products a day. Now, who is gonna deal with all those product transactions? You, you have to deal with all those product transactions because you're running everything. And the big problem that I have with dropshipping overall as a business model is that it is extremely manual. Okay, so think about this. Once you set up your, Dropify, your, your, your Shopify store, once you run your ads, when somebody purchases from your website, this is how it actually works, right? It's not automated at all. You actually have to approve that transaction, so that's one action that you have to take on your Shopify website. Then you have to go and buy that individual product from your supplier from a third party supplier. So whether that's another website or you know you call them or you send an email, so you have to take that, you have to actually take that step. You have to purchase the product yourself. So you have to use your own money to buy that product. And then you have to put the details of your customer and then your supplier sends it directly to your customer. So you have to deal with all those transactions. Now, if you only had to do that like five times a day, that's not a problem. But if you wanna make $10,000, $20,000 a month, you literally have to do that more than 100 times in a day. 
okay, for you to hit your income goals. Now imagine sitting at your computer and running all those transactions 100 over times a day. That's a pain in the butt. Yes, you can hire a virtual assistant, and that's obviously what Jared does because you know he's big time. He's got probably teams of people running all these transactions. But as an individual, when you first start, it's a pain in the butt. You literally have to deal with all of it because it's it's an extremely manual business model. Okay. The other thing is that you have to handle all the customer support. That's how e-commerce works. Every time you send someone a product, they might not like it. They might want a refund. It might arrive broken. Um, you know, the, the size of the t-shirt or whatever you're selling might not be the right size. They want to send it back. You have to deal with all the customer support, which is a pain in the butt, okay? So these are the biggest cons, I would say. Uh, uh, you know, it's more about the business model rather than Jared's actual program. Jared's program is decent, right? If you can get past the Facebook ads, the price tag, um, it's a decent program. The problem is that drop shipping is not a great business model. Now, can you make money with drop shipping? Absolutely, you can. But it requires a few things. Number one, it requires you to have big budgets, okay? Number two, you have to be able to be, you know, get good at driving ads. Number three, you have to somehow figure out how to deal with all the volume of transactions, whether that's you that's doing it or you have to hire someone else to help you to do that, right? Now, you can't get away from the transaction volume because that's just the, the name of the game when it comes to dropshipping. And for me, being an affiliate marketer where everything is automated, that's a pain in the butt for me, right? So it just depends. If you're happy to do that and you can and you and you want to make a little bit of money with dropshipping and then sort of scale and build out teams and deal with all that headache, then it's 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 okay. You can make, you know, there are people that make millions of dollars from dropshipping a year but believe me when I say it, they've got teams of like 10 you know 15 people in an office somewhere or, or virtually all over the world which can be a bit of a pain right so that's what I would say about drop shipping okay so I hope you enjoyed this review of of, uh, of uh, Ecom Hacks Academy right um, now look if you're here and you're like well Aaron you know I, it's not that I'm set on drop shipping per se you were just interested in checking this out and you know this is a very this is kind of going off you know a little bit longer right but I just wanted to to give you a very detailed review of this program and drop shipping as a whole because um, you know being a, a very successful affiliate marketer and then trying you know dabbling uh, into drop shipping I found that it's just not a business model that makes sense for me, right? Because what I do is, is I do affiliate marketing and all affiliate marketing is is you sell somebody else's digital educational product and you sell it to people all over the world. Now, the beauty about affiliate marketing is nothing is physical. So I don't, I'm not selling a physical pen. I'm selling a digital program that someone can download from a membership website on the computer. So it's not affected by the coronavirus, it's not affected by external forces, it's not affected by, by the economy, it's not affected whether people can actually get into a factory and work, which is essentially what uh, dropshipping is because Drop, drop shipping is being affected by the coronavirus currently at, rec at the time of this recording because people aren't in factories. The supply chain is being affected, right? Um, the other thing is that with affiliate marketing, the profit margins are way higher, 50 to 80% versus um, 10 to 15 to 20%. Okay, so it's much, much higher. It's fully automated. That means you don't have to physically run any transactions. When somebody buys something from you, um, the API, which is basically the the um, you know the the code that talks to, you know when a program talks to another program, that's called the API. It's all set up automatically, so you don't have to deal with any of that garbage, right? So you know you don't need to make hundreds of transactions in order for you to hit your income goals. You just need to um, get very good at marketing, finding the right products, setting up your process. Everything else is automated. That's the most amazing part about affiliate marketing, right? So it's easier for you to hit your big income goals. You have to deal with less transactions, more automation. You have more time for yourself you don't have to deal with sourcing all that products and crap like that um, you know it's, it's just a much much better business model right and so if you would like to check that out okay then all you have to do is click the link right below this video and I've got a free training program that will literally take you through all this stuff okay it'll, it'll talk about all the different business models what works what doesn't what are the pros and cons how to set up your business um, how to actually get in profit and if that's what you want to do because I'm assuming that you're here because you're interested in building some sort of business on the internet right that's why you're checking out Ecom Hacks Academy okay and after being online for the last 11 years literally trying almost every single online business model out there I can tell you for a fact that for me anyway affiliate marketing still you know wins 
uh, you know, hands down compared to all the other um, business models out there. I've been able to generate a six-figure business. I've got hundreds of students all over the world where I teach them exactly how to do, um, you know, affiliate marketing successfully. And if you'd like to check that out, just click the link below. You end up on my website, enter your best email address, and I'll send you a free training video that will show you exactly how to do this properly if you would like to, completely up to you. Make sure you check your spam folder because sometimes email ends up in spam, okay? Now, I hope you enjoyed the review of um, Ecom Hacks Academy. Listen, if you want to get into drop shipping, um, you know, after everything we spoke about today, then it's a, it's a decent program, okay? Uh, but again, you know, I think um, drop shipping is not the best business model out there, but that's for you to decide. Hope to see you on the next page. Take care, all the best, and speak soon.